All right. So today is Tuesday, June fifth, two thousand eighteen. It's about seven twenty Pacific time, and uh, basically, I'm gonna give you a brief over brief overview of what I'm doing today. Um, I'm gonna be opening uh, this uh, new Soundstorm. EV2 1600 Evolution 1600 watt amp. It's a two channel amp, uh, which I'll be using for the dual coil driver um, for the experiment in electroacoustic propulsion. Uh, we're going to be using light podium for that. And so uh, we're going to be unboxing this SSL uh, amplifier. It's a 1600 watt amp. Um, it's bridgeable. It goes to two to eight amps. It's a MOFSET uh, car amplifier. Um, what we are going to be doing is hooking that up to a new Corsair uh, CX750 power supply, uh, which we will be uh, cutting open and uh, wiring out just for the 12 volt. Uh, which we'll be connecting to our amplifier, which we will connect to audio uh, control from our computer system, which we are going to use to oscillate this like a podium right here, which we can use to see the shape of a, of a gas cloud, which we can use to see the shape of a, a cloud, which we would use, like say, in xenon in a propulsion system. And then we can uh, use this as a type of uh, uh, thruster device, a modular thruster device, because we can ionize the gas in this chamber, um, and we can uh, we can uh, manage this in a, a small system just to do a little bit of research uh, into electronic propulsion and whether we can use sound to in, uh, increase the, the velocity of propulsion devices. And so uh, we're basically trying to oscillate, uh, which would be like in here would be propellant gas oscillated to where we can get like a vortex pattern. A rotational uh, spherical pattern, which we can use uh, in, in force with like columns force uh, uh, to eject uh, a corkscrew like thrust uh, wave out of the end of the uh, exhaust nozzle. Um, which I have a better explanation for that, but uh, I'm going to show it on video. And so we're going to uh, start opening this stuff up. Um, and we will uh, look at it more in depth and then we're going to uh, take it apart and we're going to install it on here. I'm going to remove this as our old power supply. Like I said, we, uh, we uh, gutted it out so it's only just like 12 volt. We have the yellow and the black wires. Uh, and then we have our, uh, this lets you know, your power supply know when the, like, the computer motherboard's on. And we have that wired up so that it's probably and this is our acrylic uh, housing, which allows us to view the inside of a dual coil wave driver, which we can uh, oscillate regions in. And then um, we're working on a smaller design for a, a smaller platform, maybe uh, a third of the size of this one. And, um, that's coming next. And then uh, the speaker is wired up here. Uh, I just have to take the car speaker, which we can hook up to our uh, amplifier and uh, sound array. And so um, I'm going to start a new video just because this one's getting a little long. And uh, uh, all right, let's check the next video.
Let's uh, cut this guy open. This is the SSL. Yeah, the user's manual it looks like, which is going to be good. Uh, for any technical documentation we need to know for power limits or uh, shutoff procedures or emergency procedures or um, anything we need to know uh, related to uh, technical information uh, for when we're pumping energy into this thing for the sound waves where some of the lower frequencies require a lot of power. Uh, pretty simple packaging. This is really a scientific video and so we're not going to go into like, you know, the normal like oh they pack it right or like you know uh, I guess you know for science people uh, who are buying uh, audio amplifiers for uh, powering uh, wave drivers um, these are pretty good kits so uh, simple uh, stuff from packaging this thing's pretty heavy to be honest it was good the last one seemed kind of flimsy I don't know how I feel felt about that especially with some of the bass uh, the low range uh, power that I was putting through it. This is it. And so we're not playing music through this. We're not playing sounds or songs. We're playing sounds. And so uh, what we're going to do is uh, just play tones through this. So maybe combinations of certain tones. But some of these tones are like, you know, the 46, 47 hertz range. And so they're just deep, 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 deep tones. So uh, this is the amp right here. Um, we have uh, see if you can see that channel one, channel two, battery, remote, ground. Um, there's actually a remote for this that allows us to control. It looks like uh, amplitude, I guess you would call it, of, uh, I don't know which ranges it is. I don't know if it's the, the, the overall amplitude. It's the, if it's the overall amplitude of the entire, of the entire, uh, the entire system, that would be great. Because uh, then we can just dial up and dial down different frequencies, which has been kind of hard for me. Because I've been using the software on my laptop uh to change the volumes and so if i can uh change the volumes using a dial that would be great and then uh later uh if i can get one or if uh if somebody wants to send one uh um a decibel meter uh so we can know exactly what the decibel working at um that would be great and so uh i'm working on something that maybe something to my school or something uh, I talked to the physics department. But uh, yeah, remote uh, power adapter. We'll find out what that's for. Uh, we got the drive here. Um, let's see. Um, all right, next video. All right, so this is the CX750 by Corsair. Uh, I already removed the plastic on it. 
because uh, I tested it. Uh, the customer of mine, I run a computer company, and so uh, they, we had to test uh, their, their motherboard. We're using a, a new power supply, and so we used this one. And so this one, we know this one works. And so... Emerald City IT, by the way, uh, if you're in Seattle and you need uh, computer repairs or anything done, uh, any technology services, uh, it's important science. And so, like, you know, this stuff costs a lot of money to do research, and a lot of it's independent at the school. Has a hard time covering sets because some of it's dangerous, but uh, yeah, man. Um, Emerald City IT is my company. Two zero six seven four five two six seven one. Emerald City IT. Um, so, anyways, uh, so here's the power supply. This is a seven hundred fifty watt power supply. Standard power supply for a computer. Um, this one is not modular, but I mean it's really nicely braided, and so we can use some of this uh, the mesh here. Uh, we can use that uh, just like we did over here. And so we're going to be doing the same thing uh, with a pin out of uh, the board in there. I'm going to take it apart and uh, see how we got all the different connections and all the different colors and all the different ones. We're actually just looking for the yellow ones which are the 12 volt power that we use to power the amplifier, like a car battery. And so all these yellows in here, uh, that's what we're looking for. And then the black is ground, and then we have the green uh, the green, the green uh, cable, which tells it to be on or not. And so uh, I'll publish uh, something related to uh, converting uh, power supplies into lab uh, power supplies, because these can be used as lab power supplies, where you've got like the 5 volts uh, and the 3 volts and anything you need like in a lab doing experiments with like banana plugs and stuff, banana plugs, excuse me, banana plugs, you can, uh, you can do with this, and so like you can go like, around here, I'd go to like fries or something, but you can like order stuff, and uh, put it together, and then you can have your own lab power supply, and it's like really cheaper than getting like an expensive one for like maybe like a thousand dollars or something, uh, you can get any wattage you want, and they're safe, as long as you do it right, uh, because you're not really changing anything, you just, And so uh, um, we're going to uh, start taking stuff apart in my next video. And uh, I'm going to get this down here. It's getting dark out here. I'm outside. The sun is setting in beautiful Seattle, Washington. This is where I'm living. My house and stuff where I live. Really right? So uh, I'm gonna get this started, and uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm recording all this via, cam via Camtasia, and so I will uh, record via Camtasia me disassembling this stuff, and I'll try to explain as much of it as I can while I'm doing it, and then I'll try to get some of it on this camera uh, that I'm holding right now, which is my new tablet. Uh, I'm not affiliated with their uh, company or anything, but uh, Yuntab. Uh, $100 tablet. This is, I'm doing all this science and research on this one little tablet. It's amazing. Uh, I got it on Amazon also. Plug out to Amazon. Um, so uh, let's get this started. All right, thank you. First,
All right. So what I've decided to do first is uh, mount this amp, and I'm going to be mounting it on this uh, enclosure. Um, I will uh, put all the dimensions in, like uh, with the video and all the data, and the lab data and everything, and like my diagrams and everything, of the speaker box and uh, the amp and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mount this though. And so I'm going to try to set this camera up so you guys can see that. And then we also got the Camtasia live feed. Uh, all right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna pause this real quick. All right, so uh, as you guys can see, we are. All right, so as you guys can see, we are down at the level uh, of the ground where my aunt friends hang out. No joke. And so uh, we're gonna get this amp mounted. Let me do this quick. Let's get it done. All right, let's get it started. All right. So just so everybody can yell at me if I mess this up, we're going to include this brief little sticker on the back. If I mess this up, you have this for everybody to see. You know where everything is. All right. Flip that upside down. Just in case. All right. So uh, I got the. Uh, Camtasia over there, and I got the box over here, and uh, this guy, might as well just post up uh, right here, I don't know how this is going to look at all, but this might look cool, okay, this might this might work for us, okay, I like to shoot everything just raw, whatever I can come up with, first time, measure twice, cut once, right? Should be easy. So it's 13 and a quarter inches across. It's about nine inches deep. All right. Let's get it in. I'm gonna mark that. Thank you. 
Yep, 14 and a half inches. Height. I think we got a 10 inch height on here. So we're going to make it 2 inches up. We can put it right in the middle. I think that's probably the best option right now. Okay, just put everything in the middle for acoustic purposes. X marks is flat, right? Alright, ready to mount this guy? Let's do it. Make sure this guy's going. I have to restart this video. I do not restart it for the next video. Alright, All right, I'm really going to start drilling this thing right now. Alright, let's get it. Put this thing on wheels. And they all walk. They're all walkable. I just want to think ahead on this. Everybody, I wanted to reproduce this. All this stuff's open source. So if you guys want to try some of this yourself, feel free. The government's not going to come kill you. They're going to try to come kill me for it. All right. I'm just joking. That's what I hire you to get this working. Before I do. All right, so uh, I just took the uh, wave driver. This is the wave driver assembly. Uh, if you're interested in that part, just uh, dual coil uh, uh, for the low end and the mid range and high end. Uh, and acrylic uh, cylinder. That's our wave driver assembly right now. What we're working with. Uh, this is the box. This is 
standard speaker box. Uh, I had to take the wave driver out though, because we are going to put this on its side, and I'm going to uh, mount this guy that way because uh, what I was doing before just wasn't smart. And I realized it, and so we are going to do it the smart way. Yeah, we're doing that. All right. So, so put you down here. All right. Go to work. God, this is science, right? It's amazing, man. We used to, like, when we were kids, we would, like, like, get our, like, speaker boxes all, like, really nice and get, like, the best sound we can get for music, man, for music. And now I'm, like, building this, and I'm it's, it's for space propulsion research, right? It's a totally new world. New world, but it works so far. On the older amp, the the, the 300 the watt amp, um, it didn't have enough juice. It was working. We got some really nice patterns in the like footing. All right. That like feels like it's in. I feel happy with that. I don't even want it to rattle though, so it's like I got a cold boost. Hey, that's on. For sure on. Oh, uh, these wheels I got at Home Depot. These are really nice. They lock. And so, and if you have any like lab experiments and you have to like create your own like uh, vessel like this, uh, you can uh, mount these. Uh, I probably should mount this a little better. Touch this up right now. You can mount these and they make great, great grips. I think these came loose. new amp mounted right now we can power those deep waves that we're looking for I almost feel like I maybe I shouldn't mount this thing it is built to be mounted on a speaker box so right? it's built for vibration this will be fun okay um, SSL we'll see if this holds up guys right put me on right now if I get to space with this you guys are famous Just know that. Alright, I'll see the power supply next.